This is problem 5-64, it's on page 253. The pole for a power line is subjected to the two cable forces of 60 pounds, each force line in a plane parallel to the XY plane, parallel to ground, the horizontal. If the tension in the guy wire AB is 80 pounds, determine the XY and Z components uh, of reaction at the fixed base of the pole O. So let me sketch this. You should look at the figure in your book, otherwise this may not make a lot of sense. But I'm going to start off with essentially a three-dimensional coordinate system. And the pole sits at O along the z-axis, something like this. Where there is a wire up here, that, that part doesn't really matter. It's supported like this, but the point A is where we've got an 80 pound force. It's just vertically down along the negative z-axis. But it's out a distance from O of 3 feet. Then there is, and my drawing's not very good here, but then there is a, another connection. Basically, there's a collar here that has a piece that extends out so that if we extend this line, which is parallel to the y-axis, there is a force coming off this way and one going off this way. But these two are in a plane parallel to ground, parallel to the xy plane. Each one is a 60-pound force. And the angle of both are the same. The angle is, despite my drawing, 45 degrees on this side and 45 degrees on this side. So these 60-pound these forces are actually perpendicular to one another. Okay. Now, the point A is up 10 feet. And again, despite my drawing, the two 60-pound forces are up a further 4 feet. And the distance from here to here, this is kind of hard to indicate. Let me uh, put this down here. Should have left myself some more space. The distance from here to here, the horizontal distance along the y-axis is one foot, where those forces are applied. So let's make a free body diagram of the pole. Essentially, there are two forces, 60-pound forces. out away from the body and an 80 pound force out away from the body you know it's three foot there one foot there and then at the base of the pole there must be reactions for example fz force holding the pole up fy and fx okay so each one of these of course are oriented along the positive coordinate directions and then there must also be, or at least potentially, moments, like the moment about the y-axis, a moment about the x-axis, and a moment about the z-axis. So the first thing I'm going to do is sum forces in the x-direction, just because it looks easy. I mean, think about it. In the x-direction, A doesn't, or the force at A doesn't contribute. And these two you can tell that their, their horizontal components are going to cancel. So, writing that out mathematically, 60 pounds from uh, this force, which has a component in the, in the x direction, well, let's see, which side would it be? It'd be the sine side, so sine of 45 degrees, minus the 60 pounds pulling back along the negative axis, sine of 45 degrees, plus the force in the x direction equals zero. So you can tell those two are going to cancel and basically fx equals zero. There is no horizontal force in the x direction at the base of that pole. It's not necessary. Summing forces in the y direction, well, let's see, the y direction is this way. Well, these two 60 pound loads are going to add in that direction. And there's no component of A in the y direction. So I think we're going to end up with a force at the base. So let's see, there's two of them, 60 pound force times cosine 45 degrees plus Fy equals zero. And so Fy, if we solve for it, comes out to about negative 84.8528 pounds force. 
I should include what it is that I'm saying is negatively important. So at the base of this pole, the ground has to push this way at 84.8 pounds. And you can tell from intuition, obviously, the pole's just going to turn over, except for the moment in the x direction. But let's continue with the forces. But some forces in the z direction. Well, in the z direction, we've got Fz, the reaction at the ground. Don't get confused. These are the, this is the sum of forces in the z direction. This is the force at z. Maybe I should have called this Oz, for example. Maybe that would get rid of the confusion. But I've started with F, so we'll leave it. Except there's a negative 80 pound force here at A, and that's it, right? The 60 pound forces have no component in the vertical direction, the z direction, so that's it. So Fz is equal to 80 pounds. Now notice we're neglecting the weight of the pole. If you're thinking of this as a power pole, obviously the power pole itself weighs a whole lot more than this. The forces, the tensions in the cable will be a lot higher too, but this is just a, a small thing, I suppose. Maybe this is a temporary pole or something, I don't know. So we've got the forces at the base of the pole in the x, y, and z direction. But to get the moments, we'll have to sum moments at the base of the pole. So I'm going to sum moments about the x-axis at the origin O, or at the base of the pole. And I better come up with zero. So let's see, 80 pounds about the x-axis. Let's see, positive x direction by the right-hand rule is with my thumb pointed in the positive x direction. And so, of course, the x direction actually comes out the board this way. I just have to draw it at an angle to make that clear. So there's a three-foot moment arm, and in fact, that 80-pound force causes a positive moment. So 80 pounds times three feet. Now that's the moment of this 80-pound force. But notice, there's also a moment due to these two 60-pound forces. And that moment uh, is, of course, a negative moment. So let's write negative. There's going to be two of them, 60 pounds. But I don't want all of the 60 pounds. I only want the piece that's directed along the y-axis. And that would be the sine side. So sine of, let's see, is it sine or cosine? No, that's the cosine side. Cosine 45 degrees. Not that it matters, obviously. Cosine and sine 45 are the same thing. But, well, they're the same numerically, but they're not the same thing, right? I want the piece along the y-axis. And then the moment arm is a 14 foot, well 10 plus 4, 14 foot moment arm. So times 14 feet. Is there anything else? Well, yes there is. There's a moment from the ground at the base that is mx. And I've drawn it in the positive direction, so plus mx. Don't be confused. Just like this fz is not that fz, this mx is not that mx, right? This is the sum of the moments in the x direction about the origin O. This is the moment applied by the ground onto the base of the pole. So now we can solve for mx. And let's see, this is supposed to be a plus here with that feet next to it. It's a bit confusing. But we can solve for mx, just, you know, calculate all this and take the negative of it. And that comes out to about 947.94 foot-pounds, almost 1,000 foot-pounds for us. That's a decent amount of torque. If we sum moments about the y-axis at the origin O, what do we get? Well, let's see. Summing moments about the y-axis, obviously the... Uh, 80 pound force doesn't have any moment because it has no dimension along the x-axis. Uh, what about the two 60 pounds uh, force? Well, if we consider them separately, the horizontal or the, the x component of the, the 60 pound force will have a moment about y, so let's include that. And so this one will cause a positive moment, the one sticking out towards us or has, has a component towards us. This will cause a positive moment. So let's see, that'd be what? 60 pounds multiplied by sine of 45 degrees, multiplied then by the 14 foot moment arm, because notice the moment arm is here, right? But then this 60 pound load acts in the opposite direction, so minus 
60 pounds times sine 45 degrees times the same 14 foot moment arm. And then plus the moment about the y-axis at the ground plus my has to come out to zero. So notice obviously these two cancel and so the moment about the y-axis at the ground is zero. The ground does not have to supply any moment at the base of the post in the y direction. Finally, the moment about the z-axis at O, so about the, the axis of the pole. Well, now, do these forces cause any moment about the z-axis? Well, certainly not their, their y piece, right? Only their x piece can cause a moment. But they will cancel as well, so we could write it like this. 60 pounds multiplied by sine of 45 degrees times one foot minus 60 pounds times sine 45 degrees times one foot plus the moment about the z-axis equals zero. And what this proves, same thing as the last equation, is that the moment about the z-axis equals zero. So there's no twisting from the ground onto the pole's base.